Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to day three, is it three yet, of our After School Cleotic Club. I'm Louise. I'm the founder of Cleotic, as you know by now. Um, so just to recap, Cleotic is my own Irish brand clothes, carpet or hair. So whatever you make, you get to keep provided you're happy with it. So essentially, you can make your own toys. If you're not happy with your creation, you can just put it back into the container, put the lid on and reuse it like Play-Doh. So you're very welcome today. Welcome back into my studio here in Dundalk. And um, I hope you've enjoyed your last week's session. I'm just going to show you how mine dried out. See, there's one of my dogs. I actually made two dogs last week. So there's the two, one bigger than the other. So again, it worked. It's quite resilient. It's quite sturdy. And then the little bird houses. So the little bird houses actually were very attractive, very cute. You can wear them with earrings if you want it as well. If you want it as well. Okay. Um, so this is the second last week of the, the five weeks. So I'm delighted to have you today. And today we're going to make ta -da, a little hedgehog, a really bright colored hedgehog. See? He's looking good, isn't he? So it's all multicolored. Now mine, um, it just takes a little bit longer. I only finished um, to around three quarters of it, but you'll have much more time than me. So that's one little creation. And then their second creation is a little flying bird. So I'm just gonna get this little tray here so you can have a look. A little flying bird. Because we made a few birds, but they've all kind of been sitting or perched on trees or on the little um, bird's house. This is going to be a flying one. Hello, Sophia and James in Dublin. Great to see you. Welcome. Okay, so when it's dry, it'll obviously kind of fly. So that's a nice little one to, to make, isn't it? Now, the only thing is, this is quite um, an uh, intricate little one. So we're going to have to really, really concentrate today and um, really listen to what I'm saying because you want to go away with something obviously that's good and you want those little um hedgehog spikes to be resilient and to be hard and then remember don't be playing with it until it it goes solid so after a day or basically this time tomorrow you can play with it are we happy with that just to recap as well because i don't know if everybody watches at the end of these tutorials i hope you do but maybe you don't so just to um to say as well that i will be running midterm camps um, it will be on YouTube, same format as we have been doing, but it's for five days, five mornings, 10 until 11 a.m. And the theme is mythical. So I'll just show you one of the little examples of one of the characters we've been making. This is a little dragon. So it's a little mythical theme, uni unicorns. We've been making knights, all sorts of little kind of um, castle wands and stuff like that. So just if you're interested, keep that in mind. It might be a nice little um, treat for the kids over the midterm. But um, I've, I've sent you on information anyway to all the mums there, but just be mindful of that. So something like that. So just bear that in mind as well. Okay, so let's get clean. So I'm going to pull this down again. Hi from Kira. Hello there, Kira. Good girl. You're in Dublin, I think, as well, aren't you? So I'm going to pull this down. And once you can see my little hands, that's all that really matters, isn't it? Okay, so just to show you as well, this is a little point of interest. Um, when I'm making any of my models, I do tiny little ones first, and then I do the big models, just to be to show you like what, what I was doing before I made the big flying bird that we're going to do today. So it's quite nice as well, just to, just to let you know, there are little techniques of um, how you can be a good model maker. I'm just going to get our little creations from last week out of the way because you don't want to be distracted, do we? So everybody take the clay out um, and the moving mechanism, oops, I was put him there, from our pack. Sorry, mine just fell on the ground there. So everybody should have got this, something like this in the post. Now, I know we're all pros at Cleotic now, but we want to just recap on the basic shapes. So I'm gonna use the, the large amount of green here, okay? I'm gonna close that lid, remember, because you don't want it to, to dry out. So we're just gonna stretch and fold and stretch and fold, just to make sure that the clay warms up. And again, it's very cold. I wonder, did you have snow, whoever you use are? At the start of the week, it's still quite cold here in Dundalk, so you want to warm up our clay. So stretch and fold and stretch and fold just for a few seconds. And then 
I'm going to ask Kira out there, what is her first shape? I can't hear. Did I hear a ball? I did. Well done. Okay. So again, I'm going to, I feel comfortable doing the ball in the palm of my hands, but you can, again, you can do it on the table, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay. So I'm going to do it in the palm of my hands. So that's the first shape. Hold up, everybody. Oh, good girl, Kira. I knew you knew it. Good girl. Um, they look brilliant. Well done. Sophia and James, that's excellent. You really have come on, haven't you? So the next shape then is a dropper. So we have the ball on the table like that. And you decide where the halfway mark is. And you go over and back, over and back. So our little hedgehog spikes are going to be tiny ones of these if you know what I mean they're all tiny sharpened droplets so again just to you know to practice that's like if you can see that there they're the smaller version of that so that's the droplet good and our third and final shape is can you tell me James in Dublin did I hear I think I heard that right yes I heard a sausage good so over and back like this so into a sausage yeah um, so for the bird that we um, will be making, the flying bird, it's a little bit, it's a more complicated of shapes, but we'll, we'll do that when we're doing it, if you know what I mean. It's a combination of kind of a few of them. Okay. So then that's it. The ball, the droplet and the sausage. So we're all happy with that. We re re recapped. Yeah. Just to reinforce those shapes every week. So you will be pro model makers in the future. OK, and now I'm going to get so we're going to use keep the green out for a minute and we're going to get a moving mechanism. So you had this movement mechanism. If any of us did the Christmas, did we have it for Christmas? We might not have it because we had it for the Halloween. I know and um, we made a little mouse for the Halloween camp. So that's the little moving mechanism. Remember, you pull it back ooh, and then it flies on. So this time tomorrow you'll have actually your own handmade toy. So it's very good. It's fun. And um just pay attention and you'll do a really good one as well. It is quite, um, you have to really concentrate on this one. So here we go. Get your moving mechanism. I'm going to do a sausage. I learned this trick, I think, um, from some of the older kids at my actual real live workshops where they, they did a little line. Remember we did the tree the other time and we, we lined the base with a sausage. It just makes it easier and more professional to stick the other amounts of clay around. So keep doing that. Do a sausage. Okay. And then put it all around just the base. Okay. Just like that. Okay, and don't don't go mad over the wheels. If you mean no, don't keep it kind of as clean as you can to the edge because you don't want the wheels. It won't to stop the the wheels or it won't work for you. Okay. Now and then we're just going to go ahead and get our green and stick it on. So I might just for keep on doing the sausages. Actually, it might just give it a more professional finish. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Okay. All around you can do it in circles or whatever whatever you feel comfortable with but you want it to be nice and you want it to be just exact well not exact but you want it to be nice and smooth as well so you just have to be mindful of this little head here you want this to be smooth this section because we're going to be obviously sticking on our little eyes and you want that to be smooth enough but again we'll not be too hard on you if you don't get it exact okay so just enjoy the process and roll out your sausage because so you want it to be therapeutic. As I said, this is our arts and crafts section of the homeschool, which I hope is going good for everybody. Okay. All around. So all our sausages all around the base of the hedgehog. Okay. And I'm just kind of flattening it as I go around with my fingers, just to give it a smooth, even finish. Okay. Now, I'll do it again. So flatten, 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 flatten all around like that. Next, doing it again there. So it's just gradual building up of layers just to make it 
even and the right, right, right thickness. So there's no bit too thick and no bit too thin. So again, I'm going to do a sausage and attach it on. And attach it on like that. Like that. Okay, and again, as I go, I flatten it with the, the, the my thumb print or my the tips of my, my thumb. Okay. And then into a sausage and do it again. Just do gradual little sausages of even, similar thickness and similar length. So you build it up. It's quite, it covers quite um, easy, doesn't it? With this here. Now, round, 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 round. And you have got um, small little agile hands as well. So you'll be able to do that in the time. So I just got really the, my, the top bit to do, and I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so I'm just going to build like that. And the other side, so sausage, flatten around. And this sausage, flatten and stick on. And flatten, sorry, sausage flatten and stick on okay so there's mine done i'm just going to hold it up so you can have a little look so look at that the back that's the back side obviously that's the front and my eyes are going to go here and here and then we're going to have that little tip for our nose okay so something like that now i have i just love these color combinations look at the orange and the yellow and the pink they're just so summery and fun isn't it it's just um a little bit of um color therapy in these dark evenings we will we'll use the green as well so i'm just going to keep them out for a minute i know i tell you to keep the lids on but just to net for now so i can decide what what color combination i'm going to go with so boys and girls when you've that done you're going to decide where the halfway mark of our hedgehog is i'm thinking it's around up there so up there so that's going to be the the one that has the most amount of little spikes if you understand so i want mine to be really vibrant so i'm going to go with pink so i'm going to use the pink that i have supplied with the packs i'm going to actually put my other colors away for just for a minute because we want them to be nice and soft when we're using them so we're going to do one large spike okay so i'm going to take enough clay for one large one so there you go so that's one large and then we're going to do i'm just counting how many i had my my midway one was the pink as well so one two three four or five. I want five small ones this side and five small ones that side. So can everybody understand? It's going to be one there and five spikes going there and five spikes going there, right? So you're going to go with the middle one is quite big. Let me just see. Yeah, that one's quite big. No bigger than that. And then this, the second ones. So you're going to do a five other balls from large to smaller okay so it's like the biggest one goes on top and then the smaller one will go near the bottom so you're learning about grades from, from, from the larger to the smaller which is good it's all about um you know learning as well so from large to small so there we go so that's one two three four and then five. Now remember, we're going to divide these into two. So you're going the larger amount and then divide them into two. So you'll have the two sides. So there we go. I'm just going to maybe stick, maybe a little bit too big. I'm just going to stick my middle one on. So around that amount for the middle part. Do you understand like that? Yeah. So I'm going to stick it on up there. Okay. And then the next, we're going to half all the ones. So I have one, two, three, four, five into two so that's what into two and then you're going to go one ball one droplet this side one ball one droplet and the other side so it's like that can everybody see i'm going to hold it up so that was the biggest one then i have two smaller ones either side of that and i'm going to go down here and then down there so it's going to be symmetrical remember we talked about symmetric before where it means that um, one side is the same as the other side. It, in design, it always makes it easier on the eye. So just be mindful of that. So again, into two, into a ball, into a droplet, and stick it on like that. 
into a ball, into a droplet, and stick it on. So again, so I have another three to go. So I'm going to half this one into a ball, into a droplet, and then stick it on. To a ball, into a droplet, and stick it on. Ball, droplet, stick it on. You need to be professional at the small droplet by the end of this, won't you? Like that. A ball, a half. Remember to get the, the half, and then smaller ball, a droplet, stick it on. Smaller ball droplet stick it on like that yeah and now i have one more to go yeah that's about right one more little whoops, space to go my pink is quite soft so just be mindful of that don't you know be gentle when you're using it it's a lovely vibrant color there like that and then stick it on on the other side so these are like little um festival hedgehogs aren't they they're just so they're very very they're very cool yeah so that side and that side is even. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. So I'm gonna go for the next color I'm going to go. I'm gonna go yellow. So I want my yellow to be in front of this one here. So remember I said that this was the middle one. I'm just gonna use this tool here to demonstrate. That's the middle one. So I want to have my other middle to be in there. See, so it's not just in lines, it's kind of off center. So one of them's going to go here, the other one's going to go there. So we'll do that next. I said I'm going to go yellow. So there, we're going to go to, so let me just see. So this is the, the ball for, no, I'm going to go bigger. No, so that's going to be, divide that into two. So let's do that. So let's see, we're going to say, we'll do five again, so then, one again descending so this is the largest one the next one's a little bit smaller not too di not too different and then smaller so from large to small and we want six in total basically that's the middle one and then you have five this side one two three four five so they're just gradually smaller just to show a little bit of difference in the size okay so i'm going to go my my biggest one first into two divide into two and then two balls two droplets okay so there's one ball one droplet one ball one droplet now boys and girls just look up for one minute i'm going to position this up here okay kieran sophia and james and i'm going to put that in front of that there and the other guy at the other side so just just to make sure you're you're gonna have a little um more professional headshot to go away with okay so i've got stuck the two of them in front of the middle one and then we're going to go and do our half each of our balls and then two smaller balls droplets stick on on so I'm just going to go show you that so do that okay I know I know you can all do it higgledy piggledy in any way you want but again I'm here to teach to um well just not to teach maybe just to advise um the different aspects of model making so a ball a droplet and then stick it on a ball a droplet and then stick it on so with everything in life, there's a system, if you understand. It took me around 40 years on this planet to remember or to realize that everything, there's a system to everything. And this is the system I'm using to be able to, to, to show you. So into a ball and then droplet, stick it on. To a ball, droplet, stick it on. See like that? Yeah? And then I'm going to just divide this into two. And if you've got too many, don't worry. If you, if you haven't got enough, grab some from your yellow. I'll not mind. And then like that. Oh, that's actually lovely. It's really good to see. I love those color. I'm going to get a dress. And um, I was buying it online. And it's those color combinations. Just so cheery, isn't it, for the summertime? It's like that. Okay. Now... And the next one, so we're going to go now to the back. So we have the yellow, we have the pink, 
And next we're going to go orange. And the orange is very vibrant as well. Although I have different tones, you might not have got maybe as vibrant as this, depends on which, which when your pack was sent out. Okay, so again, one, I'm going to go, so I'm going to turn him around. And I have the pink is in the middle. So we want one orange offside there, offside there. So it's just offside. It's not in the middle. It's not following lines, lines, it's off center. Okay. So I'll just do that. So I get a bigger bit. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to stick with five on the, on each side. One, two, three, four. I'm just doing them willy nilly, but I'll, I'll do them gradually. I'll I'll gradiate gradiate them now. Put them into gradation. Does that make sense? So that's going to be the middle ones. One, two, three, four, and then five. So I'm going to go from large to small. So that's large, smaller, 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 smaller. So I'm happy with that. Okay, and this is going to be the middle ones with the middle two. So I'm going to divide that into a, into two. And then, yeah, you're seeing a good a ball and then a droplet and then we attach it on. So it was over like that. And again, I'm going to hold that up to you. So it's it's off the center of that one there. That's my center point, if you know what I mean. And that's off center. So like that and like that and like that. Okay. And you're going to do that. So I've got five here. So we're going to divide it in two balls, droplets all the way down. So every year my little boy comes back from school with one of those hedgehogs, you know, the ones with the lump of clay and then the matchsticks, isn't it? Or cocktail sticks at each side. So this is a little bit more advanced, isn't it? So you're learning. And it will be able to move. So it is a little bit more, um, just a little bit more professional. And that's why I'm here. Okay, so into a ball and then a droplet and then attach it on. And then attach it on like that. So look at, yeah. Oh, the colors are just fab. Into a ball. It's like a psychedelic hedgehog, isn't it? I'm gonna call mine Harry, I think. So you can make up a little name for yours as well. There we go. And then I've just got three left. So into two, two balls and then the droplet. Yeah. And then ball, droplet for the other side. So you're doing a working from one side to the other. So there's a system in place. Okay. Yeah. And again, I love the way you um, send me the photographs. So please keep doing that. As I said, it does my heart good to see all your little creations. And I'm inspired by you as well. So it's all good. We're learning from each other. And um, there we go. So something like that. So I have my yellow, I have my pink and my orange done. That looks very good. Okay, I might just put one there. Look, I, I didn't, I'm going to just do one extra orange one there. No, and one at the bottom. So like that. Yeah, that looks really good. Now, so I think again, I'll do pattern. Um, part of the homeschooling for us this week was learning about pattern. So as um, this is yellow, we have a pink and we have an orange. So I think I'm going to do that pattern formation again. So I'm going to go yellow next. And the next one, the center one is going to be here. So I just to be mindful in between those two orange, my center is going to be sticking up there. Yeah. So it's good to know the halfway mark just to be able to do it balanced, I suppose, is the word we're looking for, isn't it? To be able to see balance in it. Now, I want a big one for the centre and then each side are going to be smaller. So that's my big one for the centre. So I just want to make sure that's going to be big. Yeah, and then five other balls smaller and divide into half, then the droplet and then stick it on. Okay. Two, one, two, three. This three is too much. Or so too little. Three, four, and five. Okay. So ball, droplet, and then I'm just going to position him here. 
So as you'll see, it's quite big, but anyway, we'll go with it. It's at the back there, and then you're going to do five down this way, one, five down this way, okay? So you just get at it, and I'm going to get at it. So into a ball, we're going to half it, two balls, two droplets, stick. Two balls, two droplets, and then stick. Two balls, two droplets, and then stick. Oops. Yeah, let's see my back. Oh, God, that looks good. It's so sunshiny. So, we'll do a ball, we'll do half it, and then roll it back into the ball, droplet, and then stick. Yeah, and then ball, droplet, and then stick. So, I'm going to just do that, half it. So it's quite relaxing doing this. I'm just a little bit conscientious of the time, but you don't have to be because you can pause me or do, you know, but I'm just, because um, I, I, I want to do the other character as well. But we do have plenty, will we have time yet? I just have to keep an eye on it. But you enjoy the process as well. It's meant to be relaxing, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go another two balls, two droplets and stick, stick, stick. No. And then here, and I've got just a little bit left, so I think that's going to work out perfectly into a ball, and then the droplet and stick. Yeah. Okay, that's mine looking good. So I'm going to go back to the orange for my. Um, for my next color combination. So we're gonna go a little bit smaller this time. Okay, I've got a little bit more orange here. Just a little bit smaller. So we'll start the center point is the most important. We'll work our way out, okay? Now, and we have some of the green there. So if you have green left over, you could do a next line of green. I'm just gonna keep it quite um, bright for now. I had green on my other one that I made earlier. So if you want, you go with that, okay? So I'm just going to go with my orange next again. I'm going to go with the two because the spikes are kind of going to go smaller now. So I'm going to go grade it smaller. So that's going to be the center one, the center two, because I need two for the center there. And then one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go there and cut it into two. Oops into a ball, into a droplet, and then put it to each side of the center one. Center one like that, okay. So I'm going a little bit smaller now. I think it might be mine were a bit big initially, but look, it, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna grade it smaller, so it'll be a lot more interesting. So then into two, a ball, a droplet, oh, that's too small, oops. So a ball, a droplet, stick on to either sides. Now, so I'm going to hold it this way so you can see. Ball, droplet. So Harry the Hedgehog is looking good. He's looking very, very good. A ball, a droplet, and stick on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ball, a droplet, and stick on. You're looking very attractive like that. So into two and then a ball, a drop to stick on. And then everybody knows that the little hedgehogs, they go hibernating. So they sleep for several months and then they come out. So they're a lovely little, they're a very interesting little creature. I when I grew up in Cavan and um, there used to be a little hedgehog that would literally come to our door during the summer nights. It was so cute, so, so cute. Now there you go. And there. Now, so I'm just going to maybe just leave it at that for now because I want to continue on our eyes. But again, you've got all the time in the world, so you enjoy that process. I have now. So you can abandon that and you can just follow me for the eyes just for a minute because there's a few points I need to make when it comes to adding these eyes. These are the special eyes that don't have the little... Um, 
know, the little jaggy bits in the background. So I'm going to just position them on the table here and here. And we obviously need an eyelid like I did for this one here. So the eyelid, I have an upper eyelid and a lower eyelid. I don't think it's a lid. I don't know what it's called, but it's a lower part as well. Okay, so that's what we're going to just concentrate on because you want your eye to stay on. You don't want the a little hedgehog to be, to be um, eyeless. Okay, so I I I there, and then I I woo, there. So you want them again symmetrical. So whatever position you put them in that side, put it same on this side. Bear with me, I'm going to push that in. Whoa, get in, get in, get in. I'm going to have to hold it up, boys and girls, so just be, have it like this, okay? And then you're going to roll a sausage. Two, well, you need, whoops, four little sausages. So I'm going to divide that into two. So it's going to be for one eye. And then that one's going to be for the other eye. So two sausages. So for the upper and the lower, I'm just going to have that. And we have the upper eyes, upper sock, upper eyelid, and the lower part that we're going to call the lower eyelid. So like that. And then we're going to, it's to keep the eye in place, okay? So it's very important for function. It's, a, it's you know, it's, it's functional. Like that. Oops. This little fellow wants to drive off. So into a, into a sausage, flatten it. And then over the eye. Whoa, like this. Okay, I'm going to hold it up, hold it up, see? See, see, see? Yeah? And then we're going to go for the lower one. Oops. Yeah, and then I'm going to hold it up to my savages. I can't see what I'm doing when I'm showing to the camera. So I'm just going to go like that. Okay? Nip it around like that. And the same for the other one. So it's to put to make sure that the eye will stay in place. So you don't want anything too thick. <laughs> yeah, like that. And up, and up, and up. Up, up, up. Now, okay. The next little job we're going to do is our nose. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to go with the pink. So just a simple little bit of pink. Like this here. And then into a bowl. I, I prefer mine a little bit um, oblongs. So I'm going to just roll a slight little sausage and then stick it on. Stick it on like that. Okay. Actually, she looks good. I don't know if I've called her Harry or him Harry, haven't I? So he looks excellent. There you go. Now, so something like that, and you can go back and then finish your your bits. I've got more pink there, so I could do a, a line of pink, but I think I'm just going to leave it because I'm a little bit conscientious of the time, and I want you to have a good um, little bird to go home with. But I'm quite happy with that. I hope you are. So if you want to continue, please do, and then um, you, you can pause this and then go on to the bird at a later stage. But I'm just going to park you at the side here, Hedgehog, Harry, and the other little ones. See, they're all driving off. So remember, keep it nice, because it's very fragile with all those little um, spiky bits. So please keep that carefully away from dogs, away from younger little siblings or brothers or sisters. And then when it's dry tomorrow, you can put it wherever you want to do whatever you want so they're just standing there so that's nice that's completed so this is my second one i'm going to take off that um, decoration for the time being so this is the little hanging or sorry the little flying bird because as i said we, we had a lot of standing birds that were small and kind of in um just part of the overall design but this is the decoration itself okay so we're going to grab our purple that was sent in the post because I ran out at Christmas time. I had so many um, orders for the secondaries that I ran out of the secondary colours. That's why I had to send it independently. OK, and if you didn't get it anyway, I have still quite a lot of colours in my intro pack that I haven't used. So just be mindful of that as well. So I'm just going to bring that in mind that I sent out. Okay, and then there was a little bit of orange as well. So small, small little bit of orange, 
and the purple. I'm not going to use the orange for the moment because um, I don't need it. So I'm not going to just use it at the moment because we want it fresh in our pots. Okay, so again, we're going to stretch and we're going to fold this little bit of purple here just to make it nice and pliable. Okay, and we're going to take enough away for the two wings. So I would say around that amount away. Let me just see. So that. Around, yeah, that amount away for the two wings. I'm setting it aside. I'm setting it under a tub here. So you should have the tubs from your earlier um pots you can just put them under there <clears throat> now as i said the shape of this bird it's a little bit more um tricky than the other ones it's not a droplet it starts actually off as a droplet so we're going to just just do a little droplet um into a ball first always start off the ball regardless of what you're doing okay so into a ball and then we're going to go out like this, yeah, into the droplet kind of shape. We are going to do that, okay? Okay, so it's like a droplet. I'm going to hold it up like that. So that's kind of the head part, and then that's going to be where the tail is. So look at that. Okay. Now, I'm just going to do an extended droplet maybe, yeah. Now nip in, see where the point your part of our bird is. You're going to nip, push, put a little bit of pressure with, is it these your pincers? I think they might be, you press it, press in, okay, press in. See there's a little indent there and an indent there, okay. And then you're going to get this pincery little motion again and flatten it for where the tail will go. So it's like that. It looks like a fish now. That's not what the look we're going for, but just to, you know, that's the way it'll start. So it's like that. So you've pushed in there, you've pushed down there, and that's the tail of the bird, okay? So I'm just going to, again, just, you can stretch, with the auto, remember the slight stretch, you're going to stretch it up a bit. And then my head, it's, it's I've pinched in there, so I'm going to pinch in, pinch, pinch again, the, the, with, the, with the pinchers, pincer movement, and then that's going to be the little head, okay? So that's a little bit challenging. And then I'm going to go around like this. So it's kind of like a ball shape. Okay. Like that and like that. Now. And then we're going to use our hands and we're going to flatten it. Flatten it a little bit gently. No, nothing too, too heavy. So like that and that. So again, we have the tail. It's too circular, but we'll work on that. We have the body and we have the head, okay? And then, yeah, so as I said, you squeezed in there. You squeezed in there. So it's that kind of shape. Everyone going to see? Okay. Now I'm going to flatten it again because it's just little birds are quite kind of flat and they're flying. So I'm just going to make it like that and like that and like that and round it off the head. Okay, and then when it comes to the tail, just kind of flatten that part. Okay, does that make sense, everybody out there? So, this is a tricky one. Now, this is day four. This is day four, I think I said day three. I'm so silly. Sorry, this is day four of the five classes. So, we have learned a few little tricks along the way. Now, Um okay, so then with our tool, we're going to go up, 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 up. So it's like a little fan almost. Look at like that. Two, three, four, five. So I hope James and Sophie there and Kira, you're getting on okay. It's like that. Okay, something like that. So you have the, the tail, the body, and the little head. No. And then I give you some orange. So all you're going to do, again, this is like just to add embellishment and to add more professional finish to your character. You're going to get a small little bit. I mean, it's a very small bit of our orange. So if something, even that might be too amount, too large amount. But we're going to then roll it into a sausage. Okay. And we're going to attach it to the base of our of our tail 
Okay, I'm just going to cut over there. And if it's too big, cut it off like I'm doing there. Like that. So look at now that doesn't look too great. It's too it's too um disjointed. So you're gonna put a little bit of pressure on it. Just feel around it and flatten it. You see the way the orange and the purple look fantastic together, isn't that gorgeous? It's really, really good. Okay, and then we're gonna get this tool again and we're going to slice, slice, slice up it just again to give it a little bit of a realistic appearance. Everybody see that? So again, that's just given an added dimension, a new, just a new color combination and just to give it um, a more realistic, I suppose, appearance. I'm just gonna put my little bit of pressure more onto my tail like that, okay? So that is looking quite good. Now, the next thing we're going to do is see this serrated edge here, you're going to make little pretend feathers. So like this, I'm gonna hold up to the camera now. So you just put pressure onto it and make pretend, it's just to give a texture basically. So feathers, so one, two, I'm just doing a load of little strike. I can't even know how many, I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping. But with that jaggy edge, cause that'll give it an illusion of feathers. Okay, so I just don't mind there. See again? See it? I'm just going to see. It. I don't know if you can see it in the camera there. They're just little impressions of feathers. Now, with the amount of clay that we took away, the purple, we're going to get it into our hands, and we're going to divide it. Just, I'm going to want to roll into a ball because you want these quite even. Decide where the halfway mark is, and cut it into two. I'm just going to get rid of that orange for a minute. Now, and then we're going to do two droplets and flatten them. So they're simple enough. These are all pros of the droplets now. So into a ball, into the droplet, but nice, sharp, sharp. That's the important part, the sharp part. Sorry, a sharp droplet. And then tilt it towards yourself. Bring the tip of it towards your belly, your face, facing you, and then flatten it. Okay, and then if it's not long enough, you can just obviously put pressure like I'm doing with my fingers, just to extend it. And I just want to make sure, see how it looks. Whoops, against just the portion. Yeah, that looks okay. I'm happy enough with that. And do with a similar shape with the other one, with the other side, please. So into a ball, a sharpened droplet, a sharpened droplet, and then the little wing, a, this part here, bring it towards, tilt it towards your belly, and then flatten, flatten, flatten. Nice, so I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, so you want them as even as you can get, even, even, even. Yeah, that's actually quite good. Because some of you actually, are, that did participate in the Christmas club, I was inspired by the pictures of the angel's wings. So it's kind of like the angel's wings you're doing, but some of them were brilliant, I must say. I think it was actually Neve maybe sent a picture and some of them were beautiful. Okay, so then we're going to do again the little illusion of feathers. So I'm going to do... <clears throat> I'm going to just do something here and I'll put it to the camera so you can see. I'm using this part, this part of the tool and I'm just going to the fatter part and just doing a little line from one side to the other and do that down. So it's two, I'm going to hold it up now like that. Okay, can we see that? <clears throat> Sorry, yeah. So I'm going to do it on the other side as well. So you just continue with that. I need to just see here what I'm doing, yeah, and that, and that, okay. Now, and then we're going to get on, I think I'll use this side, yeah, we'll continue with this jagged edge, and we'll go up, 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 like that, okay. And we'll do the same on the other side. So it's up, up, up. Again, this is where the feathery parts are going to be. Okay, it's like that. So you have them roughly indicated there. 
So make sure we have them the right side. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. So I'm going to hold this like this here. So everything, all distractions out of the way. And you are going to go like this and like this. So that's kind of where we should be at now. Does that make sense, everybody? Okay, I'm going to put them there just so that you will see when I'm doing this. And then again, you're going to do what you did on your tail. You're going to do the feathers. So I'm using those little, the jagged serrated edge and up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 kind of go diagonal. And you want to put a lot of pressure, actually, because it tends to bounce back out. It tends to bounce, bounce, bounce. And you don't want, you want it to remain permanent in it. Like that, and like that, and like that. So just do that throughout all those little lines. So it's up, up, up. Up, 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 up. Up, up, do like that. Up, up. Now, let me just see. I'm going to turn it to me. So it's just to give it an illusion of texture as well. And then with these guys here, you're going to go over. You know, there you have a line. You're going to do lines in there as well. Thicker lines. I'm going to show you now. I'll hold it up. Don't panic. So just for the second layer, the same, and then do more little zigzags of textures. Okay, and I'm going to do the same over here. So again, so it looks symmetrical. So ba 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 over 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 like that. Okay, just to give a texture and some sort of symmetry. Sym Cemetery. Cemetery. Is that a word? Now, and then we're going to go with our orange on the outside as well. So two, I'm going to get around amount of orange around that size, divide it into two and into two sausages. Now, over, over, over. And then we're going to put it off like we did for the tail around and around and around and around and around and around. And I might just stop there. You can bring it up further if you want, but I think I just want it to the, for the tip of the tail like that. OK, and then flatten it. And let me see. And then we're going to go up, up, up. I'm using the serrated edge as well, if you're interested, it doesn't matter. You can use her, the smooth one or the long or the one, it doesn't really matter. So like that, Do you see the, how it gives definition, doesn't it? It gives outline, it gives definition, and I want to make sure my lines are like that. Okay, and then the other side as well. So I'll just get you away, like that, into a sausage. No. Like this and then join it all around like here. I'm just going to lift it up there. So hopefully these are getting on okay there and you can join it on. So I just went from that side to the other again. So it looks even on both sides. So there's a balance to it. There's a little, there's a nice harmony of the two sides. And then I'm using that and I'm going up, up, up. All the way around. Okay. Now, let me just see. I didn't want to stick it on yet. I want that. Remember, they said the balance. It's not too balanced. I want to get a little bit more orange. So I can make mistakes as well. We can all make mistakes, but I'm hoping I can rectify it. I just want to get it s similar in the in the way I have done the other one. I wanted to have the same amount of orange, if you know what I mean, on the two characters. And the two, sorry, wings. Yeah, so that looks, that's better there. It's more even, I think. So I've attached mine on like that. Oh, yeah, so he's looking actually very, very nice there. He's actually looking really good. So I'm going to hold it up like that. I might put it onto my, my tray so you can see. So that's going to be his little, we're going to do this little beak there in his eyes. Okay. The only thing I'm not that happy with, his head is very kind of blocky there. So I want to just round it off if I can. Just round it off if I can, because it'll just give it a more 
realistic illusion. Now, so again, for the beak, we don't want anything. Sometimes I tend to do my beaks too big. So we're not going to go too big with the beak. We're going to keep it small and pretty. So we're going to go into a ball. It's going to be quite small. So into a ball and then a pointy little beak. So a tiny pointy little droplet like that. So something that's not going to... It's not going to um, make it too out of proportion. Something like that. Would that make sense to people? Yeah. And then I'm going to get these two fingers again and press where the eyes. So the eyes should go around there to the side. Little bird eyes should go to the side. So I'm going to use a tiny bit of black. So we should, should have black left from... Oh, they're all the colours, by the way, I have had left from my... For the, the fourth four weeks, if you know what I mean, so it's not that bad. You'll have hopefully some maybe left over for next week, and um, after next week, you can do whatever you like with it. But just be mindful until those five weeks are over to keep them because we need them, that's why we supply them as part of the packs. So, we're going to give black two little black eyes, nothing too big, remember, because you don't want two big lumps of coal, if you know what I mean, the side eyes, just nice delicate little eyes, that's probably even too big, so I'm going to go half that again, boys and girls, you'll see how tiny it is, I'm going to hold that up into my, like that, and I'm going to half that again, so that's enough for two eyes, so it's, it really is tiny, tiny amounts, so again you're learning to go from large to small, which is all very important as well, so into two, and then, actually, I quite like the shape of those eyes, they're quite good, so I'm going to put those on. I would usually, I would usually say for you to use just a little ball, um, but I actually like the way I've cut mine. So I'm going to just go with my little eyes like that. It's quite delicate. Uh, so I'm just going to put it in. So you can just do the little uh, balls that you have. See like that. It's like two little side eyes, two little, and the other one. Like that okay yeah that's actually very cute i'm gonna hold it just gonna print my little nose like that and look at it. okay so if you want to do any adjustments now do them with your tool i'm just going to go around that for a minute to make sure that all of those little indents are in place or that i'm happy with the little indents you have the eyes and the little head. And then we've, if you want, we can do, so you should have some orange after those because we used, well, I've used very little orange. So I'm going to do little three tufts of hair. So I'm going to get, let me show you here. So but this is kind of the amount that I want to do. One, two, three. And they're going to be three little birdie tufts of hair. So I'm going to do them in the form of a droplet. So into a ball. A little droplet like this and then put it on like that the second one I'm going to do them behind each other three of them behind each other two and then the other one the other side mm. let me just see Okay, so again, just giving a little illusion of a little bird that has tufts of well, little feathers, I suppose, aren't they? Not hair, like that. Okay, I'm gonna just give my little bird. So I'm gonna hold that up now. So the three little tufts, I have the eyes on. The beak is done, the wings and the little tail. Okay, and next we're going to do is the hanging decoration. So again, we use this, but well, we did use it actually last week. The only thing is we only need, um, I would allow it to dry for a few, even for a few hours before we put it in. And I wouldn't open it. I think I recommended last week that you open that. I don't think we should open it this week. I think we should just put it in as it is. I'm going to put it near the, the back of her little head. 
So it's like that. And then tomorrow or whatever, in a few days, you'll be able to hang it. You could hang it on, um, you know, as a little, a little decoration. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So that's where I've positioned mine, if you see it there. Yeah? There's my, head, my little feather on her head's fallen off. Okay, so let's just recap now on that. So that's one, that's the other little um, character. So we have these wee guys. One. And that's my second attempt. So I always do mine. Here's literally one that I, you know, married earlier. I always do that just to be prepared. And again, if you want to go back, you can continue on making your head chalk with the remainder of the clay. As I said, I've got some more green clay left over. I've got yellow. So I could do a few more rows if I wanted. But um, it's up to you. you. You can do as more, much as it, or as little as you want. But as long as the, the overall body is, is done, that's the main thing. So that's looking good. So remember, keep that for around 24 hours and it'll become a permanent toy forever. And then that's our little bird. So I really hope um, you've enjoyed that tutorial today. I actually really enjoyed that, particularly the little hedgehog. Um, I really, really enjoyed that. So um, thank you again. Thanks so much, everybody, for signing up to the Chaotic After School. I really appreciate it. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And then next week, it's our last week. So we're going to do, I um, can't remember what we're doing. We're doing oh, it's a card, it's a little card, um, it'll be a Valentine's card and another toy of some description. Sorry, my head's gone blank, I can't even think what it is, but it'll be fun, whatever it is, don't you worry. So listen, thanks so much and um, stay safe and we'll see you back for the last one next Thursday at this time, okay? All the best now, have a lovely time or lovely evening and stay safe, okay? All the best, bye!